it used to be considered acceptable to practice on real people and to some extent it still happens but it's a very 19th century concept. It was the best that was available a hundred years ago but now there are far better options and of course the medical legal situation has changed too and that people are no longer willing to be guinea pigs. What distinguishes Go Virtual Medical is the fact that doctors actually initiated this. It's not technology driven, it's actually doctors and educationalists bringing together what's needed to make for effective learning. We're using technology to help people to learn faster, better and in more depth and to be able to test themselves against predefined requirements. Studies have shown that when you learn a new skill, 75% of the skill is cognitive and only 25% technical. So therefore when we were developing the simulator, we decided to focus on the cognitive aspect and teach the user the cognitive the skills he needs to acquire so that it makes acquiring of the 25% much easier. One of the main features of the Integrated Cognitive Simulator is that it has four media and students tend to learn in different ways. Some like to read, some like to listen, some like to visualize what's happening and then obviously there's others that just like to do and we address all four of this media. In there we have the best text that we can write uh, describing what's involved in doing a procedure. This text is also hyperlinked uh, so that we can up have updated evidence and literature available. The text is illustrated both with, uh, with pictures and with video. So it's a high class text. We then have 3D anatomy, which is interactable. You can interrogate the anatomy, you can walk through the anatomy, you can position it as you would for a clinical procedure. So it's tailor-made 3D anatomy. We also have an audiovisual presentation by a world expert on that particular procedure, so you can watch and hear how it's done. And the fourth media is the simulation. And we have two modes of simulation. One is the testing mode where you have visual cues to enable you to progress the procedure with cues. The testing mode, however, is different. Those cues are taken away and you have to advance or not advance depending on, on how much you've learnt. Built into the simulation are metrics which enable you to measure performance, uh, error rates, time to complete, etc., which is available not only to the learner but also to the supervisor.